My name's Zoe and I'm in my third year studying in the School of Population and Global Health. The reason that I chose population health in particular um, was because I knew that I was really um, interested in health, but I wasn't really sure exactly what aspect of health I was interested in. And the population health major, um, it's really great because it's quite broad. So you get to kind of see what things you're interested in um, and what things you might not be so interested in. Many of our students as they start their journey at university don't necessarily know what population health is and they take uh, population health uh, units or one of our population health units and in taking that unit they discover that it really addresses their interest in health but not so much on the individual level so not just helping one person but really helping a population and by making small changes within a population you can really see a big difference in health outcomes. So as they learn that they can make a difference for a much greater population group than just one patient or a series of patients throughout the day, they really get excited by that. Originally, when I started my science degree at UWA, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I did some chemistry units, I did some statistics units, and um, I guess that was my first exposure to population health, um, seeing that it's not just about what's happening, for example, in a clinical service, it's also about what's happening globally. It's about what's happening in terms of prevention and the kind of environmental impacts, and that's when I realised that there's a whole lot of other things that impact on health that aren't just basically um, medicine. Students that enrol in a population health major generally have an interest in some sort of health outcomes. What we can do in this course is to build on that passion and to develop students' understanding and help to scaffold some skills to be able to look at health issues or health problems at a deeper level. We provide students with the opportunity to learn the theoretical knowledge, but also to apply it. And they can apply that within the classroom, they can apply that knowledge uh, in the local community, but also to apply these skills uh, globally with the, a range of fieldwork units that are available. There's definitely been heaps of opportunities to kind of move out of the lecture hall, um, which I found to be um, really fantastic. I got the opportunity to travel to India um, as part of a unit for population health. Um, and we were able to work with a local health organisation um, in a rural area um, to try and look at some of the health inequalities that existed um, and develop some strategies that could potentially be used to address those inequalities. It was a fantastic opportunity to be able to see how um, things that we learnt in the classroom could be translated to the real world. Well, some of my colleagues, um, they've always been interested in clinical work, so I've had colleagues going to medicine, and they've described as what's been really great having studied at the UWA School of Population Global Health is that they don't just have that kind of clinical view, they know it's not just about um, treating people. They also see kind of the higher fruit, they know it's about preventing the disease. Number one, we want our students to come out with a passion for public health, an increased passion for public health, because typically they come in wanting to make a difference. This gives them the opportunity to build skills to actually go out and make a difference, whether that's in their local community, whether it's state level, national level, or whether they want to actually go internationally you know, and make a difference. And lots of our students do have those aspirations. So hopefully through our course, we provide them with the skills and the knowledge and the experience to be able to go out and do that. I would suggest to anyone who's interested in health get involved. Um, it's a really generalist degree, so you'll learn a lot of skills that can be applied to other areas. And I think they're skills that will be useful um, going forward as they're the kind of skills that aren't going to be replaced by automation. Um, they're skills that are going to be, um, I guess, really important in the new knowledge economy we have. Well, I uh, hope that I have for my career in the future is to really make a difference for people. Um, living in extreme poverty or experiencing other um, health issues in our region. I think there's a lot of health problems to focus on, but um, with people studying population health and going into the workforce, I think that we'll be really well equipped to, to make a real difference in these areas.